Hi, welcome to another segment of Heads Up for Hosers. Today we're going to be going over thread identification. Thread identification is one of the most important aspects of identifying hose and fittings. A lot of our customers and our staff find that if they can't properly identify a hose or hose fitting, then that is a stumbling block for them to properly get the hose that they need for the job. In the beginning, Threads have been adapted from the early invention of screw threads, and in the early years, most systems were plumbed with NPT, which is National Pipe Thread. Then came 45 SAE Automotive Thread. This was common low-pressure thread used in the industry, mostly automotive applications. But as hydraulic systems increased in pressure, there was a need for a higher performing thread that was the invention of JIC 37 degree thread. A joint industrial council, which is what JIC stands for, got together and actually created this thread for the industry. If you are plumbing with NPT, National Pipe Thread, or JIC, Joint Industrial Council fittings, you encounter a problem when trying to orientate hoses or tubes from a port connection. Therefore, the introduction of ORB, which is O-ring boss, solved this problem. Because ORB can be adjusted to seal with the turn of a jam nut, which you actually can see right here, and not have to be threaded completely into the actual port itself, there were no more problems after this point. A quick demonstration on that is basically taking this fitting that I have in my hand, which is a 90 degree ORB to JIC fitting, putting it into a port as I'll demonstrate with my hand, and if you've got hose fittings that are being routed coming this direction or tubes that are being routed coming from this direction, you have to actually orientate your adapter. With NPT and pipe thread, for example, when you orientate a 90 degree fitting, because NPT has to be tightened all the way down to a certain spec, the problem we encounter is that when it is tight, it might be facing the opposite direction of where your hoses or your tubes are coming from. So with an ORB style, I can take that, put it into my port, tighten it to the area where I need it to be with the fitting possibly still being loose, the jam nut being tightened down with the washer pushing down on the O-ring to create the seal. My adapter is now in the proper routing position for those hoses and those tubes to come into connection. After ORB, Code 61 and Code 62 flange fittings were created. They are considered a threadless connection and are also common for orientation of hoses. Like the O-ring boss fitting that we just talked about, they utilize the sealing efforts of an O-ring, but instead of sealing on the shoulder, they seal on the face of the fitting itself. An example is right here that I have in my hand. This is a Code 61 style fitting. As you can see on the face of the fitting, there is a spot for the O-ring to actually be placed to create the seal. With JIC being a metal-to-metal -metal seal on the face of the fitting, the industry was calling for a threaded fitting that would withstand vibration and pressure. So, the introduction of ORFS, which is O-ring face seal, came to be. A 6,000 PSI fitting up to number 16, that is a straight thread, and like the Code 61 and Code 62 fitting, this seals on the face of the fitting itself. The AeroQuip FT1341 identification kit is an excellent tool for identifying threads. These are the tools of the trade, just like a saw is a tool for a carpenter, the FT1341 kit is essential for the hoser. Without these tools, errors can be made even by the trained person. Inside the toolkit, we have metric and imperial thread pitch gauges, as you see here. We also have a metric and imperial caliper. We have angle gauges that are on the caliper itself for measuring the angle of the face on a 37 degree, 45 degree, etc. fitting. We also have a port and thread identification pamphlet that has essential information on the ID and OD of thread fittings. Something that's not included with the kit is these Allen keys. They are a 564, 764, and 964 style. We will go into more detail later on on how all these tools are used in the segments of our Heads Up for Hosers course. 
Okay, that was a lot of information to digest. Now we're going to get into a little more detail on some terminology. For example, what is a port and what is a connector? A port is a means to connect a hose, tube, or pipe to the hydraulic components. Common North American port connections are NPT, ORB, and flange. Some common European ports are going to be BSPP, metric, or DIN. Another thing to consider is what is a connector? This is a method to connect a source of hydraulic fluid to a hydraulic component. This can be tube or hose end connections. Some important terminology to know prior to getting into the threads themselves is ID and OD. So when measuring a male fitting, for example, it's always going to be the OD or outside diameter. You take your calipers, put them onto your threads and measure just like so. When measuring female threads, it's always going to be the ID or the inside diameter. Again, take your calipers, you will actually put them on the inside of the threads and measure just like that. And that concludes our introduction to thread identification. We will see you next time on Heads Up for Hosers. For more information on hose and hose fittings, please contact your local Greg Distributors sales specialist.